You are watching Everything Nicaragua. I'm Tony, and today I am going to share with you what I consider to be the top three resorts in Nicaragua. So, to get started, these resorts are in alphabetical order, and they all happen to be on the Pacific coast, just north of San Juan del Sur. So the first one on the list is Guacalito. Now, Guacalito, what makes it really special, I'm gonna give three things for each resort. Now, the number one thing for Guacalito is that it's paved roads. So, that means you can drive from Liberia or Costa Rica on a paved road, or from Esmeralda Airport, which is located right next to Guacalito, and drive all the way into the resort, into wherever you're staying, your residence, into a covered parking, if you choose, all paved. And that's a big advantage in a country where it does rain quite a bit during the wet season. The next big advantage about them is their customer service. Now, I've been there three times with my family. The first time we went, we were pretty blown away at the restaurant, at the beach, it was beautiful, swimming pool and the whole works. But what really got us was the second time we showed up. The waiter we had remembered our name and he remembered what we'd like to drink and eat. So we really felt a part of and really special and customer service is something that I, I hold high in kind of grading places. But on the third time, we showed up, he welcomed us, he remembered our name, got our drinks ready before we even ordered them. Uh, you know, he also mentioned specials that he thought we would like based on our past two experiences there. It was pretty amazing. Now the third thing that makes Guacalito really special is that they have Wi-Fi on the beach. Blazing fast Wi-Fi while you're sitting underneath your sunshade. You can work while the kids are playing. It's, it's pretty special to have Wi-Fi that close to the ocean. Um, so it was a really big advantage for my family to be able to work while the kids played and then you know let them have some Wi-Fi time too while we're on the beach. That was pretty unique. So the next resort in alphabetical order is gonna be Hacienda Iguana. Now Hacienda Iguana, what really makes that place special is the beach. So it's located on Playa Colorado and it's a really long beach where you can just walk from one river to the other river and you can get a good workout. But also there are two of the best surf breaks in all of Nicaragua right there on the beach and they're actually beach breaks. So as you're walking down, you get to see surfers risk it all and jump inside a barrel and come flying out the other, the other end of it. And the energy that you get is just something special, just from a spectator's uh, point of view. So I can only imagine what it's like to be a surfer on these world-class breaks. So the beach is another, uh, uh, is probably the big wow to Hacienda Iguana. The next thing is gonna be the golf course. So they have a golf course that's Unlike other golf courses that I've ever seen, it's so um, intertwined in the, uh, the restaurants and, and the businesses and the housing and everything is just surrounding this golf course and it's, it kind of goes in and out of everything. Um, so it's set up as a nine hole golf course, but you can play it as an 18. Um, what's really unique about it is that when you play the course, you actually play differently than if you were to play on a big course um, because there are so many uh, obstacles that you have to avoid. And when you're done playing the nine holes and you go to another golf course, you actually feel like you're a better golfer. Um, so it's actually like a great training facility. And then for the guys who want to play the 18 holes that are, you know, really experienced avid golfers, it's a very challenging course for them too. So the golf course is something special at Hacienda Iguana. The third thing about Hacienda Iguana is that it's flat. So once you get in the gates of Hacienda Iguana, it's a carless environment. You don't need your car anymore. You can walk to all the different amenities, to the different beach areas. You can ride a bike. You can even take your golf cart um, or a moto. So it's, um, that's a really big advantage about arriving somewhere and then being carless. No more need for a car in Hacienda Iguana. Next on the list is gonna be Rancho Santana. And one of the things that makes Rancho Santana so special is the complimentary coffee. Not that it's complimentary, but it's the message that it sends me when I arrive. I have this emotional attachment to coffee, it's warm, it's got the caffeine, and it's how I start my days. But it also says thank you for coming and visiting us, 
And that kind of culture or vibe is throughout the entire experience at Rancho Santana. Next thing that makes Rancho Santana really special is the location. So it's over 1500 acres of property in the community, but it's located on the beach. And what's, what's really valuable about that location is that you can just walk up the beach and be in the community. In Nicaragua of Popoyo, you can see different restaurants, you can see different boutique hotels, and you can even walk all the way up to uh, Mag Rock, which is an amazing, iconic place to see a sunset here in Nicaragua. So the next thing that was really valuable to me about Rancho Santana was the amount of amenities and the quality of them. So they have a world-class spa. They have things to do like mountain biking, hiking, surfing. There's the tide pools. There's bocce ball. There's um, horseshoes. There's a billiards table. There's multiple bars and restaurants. There's a tienda, there's a school, there's tennis courts. There's just so much to do at Rancho Santana. It doesn't feel like you're at a weekend getaway. It's really a place that where you can have longevity and be there for quite a long time. So hopefully you found this video interesting and valuable. I'll put all the links above so you can go and do your own research on each one of these locations. If you have any other places that you'd like to mention, please put them in the comments and I'll do another video on those. Um, as we say every day here at Everything Nicaragua, adios, nos vemos.